We got a partial eclipse. I mean, beginning of a full eclipse here, folks. I'm, I'm trying to. This is Fort Douglas in Queensland, uh, Australia. And I got to do some sound adjusting here in my ears. But uh, I'm going to zoom in on this. We had a good shot here a few minutes ago of get my sound down. Seems to be okay right now. They had a better shot a few minutes ago. And I just fired. I'd start breaking this in and do a video of it starting and everything. And it's going to be a three-hour eclipse in the Pacific Ocean. And it's like, uh, I can go to some information here. Let me break this down. But uh, we're getting the shot we're getting now, but now they're getting cloud cover there. So that's Bino, and we're back in here because uh, I'm going to try to throw this out as fast as I can for a video. So I'm going to zoom in. They have got something going on with their deal. I don't know if the player is going to be uh, refocusing here in a minute. We had a beautiful shot to begin with here a few minutes ago. They had uh, so we are our folks, and I'm sorry about the magnifying glass. I'm gonna try to figure out how to work this just right. I've never used this before on the system, and I'm not even sure if the magnifying lens is coming over. But I'm basically got the eclipse going, and basically this is what we had going on before now. These should be the solar spots that are on the sun from the view in Australia right now. We'll end up being able to examine the uh, magnetics and look at that. Now, I'm not sure if I'm still magnifying in every time, but this is basically, there's the eclipse on the sun. And I was in a little earlier and was able to see it. That's the moon right here. Okay, and I'll try to move up the screen. I've never used this magnifier before, but it basically it's working pretty good for getting close on this shot. I'll try to scoot over on the page here, and there we go. I got my finger working, and there we go. We've got the moon, and the eyepiece is basically uh, that magnifying lens. There's nothing I can do too much about that. But you can see the spots on the sun pretty clearly. Now we got cloud action coming back again here in a second. But that is the moon where you see the magnifying glass. I believe it's on the screen. And that is the sun under there. And that's the moon doing an eclipse here down in Australia. And I, there's nothing I can do. I'm just basically, that's the moon there doing the, the eclipse. And I can't, I apologize for the, the glass, but there's nothing much I can do about that. I think that's part of my tool. So we're getting a pretty good close-up shot of the moon getting in front of the sun. Now that's cloud cover that they're having problems with. The Canadian team is the one that's going to have a real good shot of this. Basically what's making me upset is the idea that you can pretty much... See what we get here now. It's still better off for me to just sit like this in case it breaks through the clouds. So I'll, I'm going to stop the recording and see what we can. Now, I haven't stopped the recording yet, but see, that's what the camera shot that they're giving us. And they got cloud cover coming over. So I'll move back over here to stay in their shot. Now, like I say, I apologize for that. I don't know if I can click on it. Okay, I was just doing the magnifier there. So I'll slip this down and see if that stays out of the screen. And basically, this is the live shot that we're getting from over in uh, Australia. This is the beach on a military base over there. And let's just keep it playing here for a second. Because it's supposed to last three hours long, but it started early, I believe, because uh, I'm not going to worry about getting down to the clock right now. See what we see. The there's going to be some Canadian footage, from what I understand. It should hopefully be better because they were up higher. And as you can see, the sun's going to still do its little burn through. 
and even with the clouds we'll, we'll, we should hopefully the sun will keep on burning through and theoretically you would believe that it would because uh, as the moon does the full eclipse through So let me move over here, I think, I hope. So I'm going to stop and uh, save some video time here and see if we get a better shot. And I just want to show that basically the International Space Station did a pretty good job of slowing itself down. They've done everything they can do to slow themselves down and get a good look at this solar eclipse. As you can see, the night to day line.
and this is the current image here during this eclipse here so I'm just showing you that they did a pretty good job of putting an anchor in the, in space to try to slow down and see as much as they can of it plus also getting their self positioned pretty darn good for it so they got the brakes on pretty good they've slowed down as much as they can because usually it'd be darn fast